this morning. I'm joined by uh, David, the president and founder of Olivia Chocolat. Where did the idea come from for the company? Well, when I started the company, it was right around the time when my daughter was born, mm -hmm. Olivia. And uh, when she was born, we saw her beautiful eyes, and it was just a natural. Yeah. How nice is that? Did you ever think that she would be running a chocolate company? Um, no, I, I didn't, but, uh, you know, it, uh, it's, I've always had a passion for chocolate and uh, started it and one thing came to another and um, and the company is now three years in. So. And what sets Olivia apart from any other chocolate company? Well, what we do is we make high percentage dark chocolate mm -hmm. uh, without the bitterness. So we start at 76% and then we go up. And what, what's different about that compared to other companies? Well, most of uh, the European fine chocolate makers will stop at 70%. So uh, really the health benefits kick in with chocolate up from 70% up. Oh, you're kidding? So, so this is like healthy chocolate? This is a healthy indulgence, Yay. absolutely. I'm going to eat that entire pile <laughs> since you're saying it's healthy. Yeah, it's healthy. So well, what? What? Uh, tell me a little bit about the process because I know that's quite unique as well. Uh, well, what we do is we remove the astringency out of the chocolate yeah. through uh, long periods of time of refining. So right. we, we refine our chocolate, uh, our 76% for four days yeah. and our 86% for five. Okay. So and we remove the astringency in our special refining process that is okay. unique to Olivia Chocolat. And what's left is uh, a really fine, smooth taste. Mm -hmm. So you can really go up 10% in our chocolate without giving anything up on the palate. Really? Yeah. And, and the chocolate actually starts like this, right? Those are raw cocoa beans. They're fermented at the farm. Mm -hmm. And we will work with the raw cocoa bean and make chocolate directly from that. Or we will start with roasting it. And we'll roast. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the flavor profile. So when you taste the raw chocolate, it's an immediate a raw, earthy, smooth taste, mm -hmm. a very soft taste. So delicious. And a number of very high-profile restaurants around Ottawa are actually using Olivia chocolate in their desserts and, uh, and, and in coffee shops. We've got a new fair trade chocolate bar that's launching this week that we'll tell you about a little bit later in the show. But uh, before we go, can you tell me a little bit about what your chocolatier LA is doing over here? Well, what this machine is doing, it's tempering the chocolate and it's also metering out an exact quantity into a set of molds yeah. so that we can produce a, a 12 gram miniature chocolate, we call it our minis. Mm -hmm. So there's a, we target 14 grams per and this does an exact meter of that weight of chocolate. Okay, so which one of these bars do these end up becoming? This is actually the raw 86% fair trade, mm, uh, Bridget okay. and Olivia fair trade. So that is this one right here. Okay, I want to give that one a yeah. try. And how do you infuse the maple flavor into it? Well, because we make chocolate bean to bar, yeah. we're uh, we're making a maple chocolate with two sugars. It's not a flavoring. There's pure organic maple sugar oh. and pure organic cane sugar. Mm. And it, what the maple in there does, this is touch of maple, it makes like a caramely maple familiar cultural taste Lovely. For, for us here in Ottawa, Gatineau. Lovely. Well, if you want to get your hands on some of the Olivia Chocolat, head to their website and order there or head to 18 Restaurant or Bridgehead Coffee. They carry um, the chocolate in different forms there. We'll tell you all about that a little bit later in the show.